Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite survival flashlight. I know you're, what you're saying right now, John, how can you pick just one? Well, when I talk about survival flashlight, I'm not saying maybe not the best EDC light or the best long distance light, but in a survival situation, I definitely want to have one or a couple of these on hand, and I'm going to tell you why. The light that I'm talking about is the Streamlight ProTac 1L1AA. It's a single source flashlight as far as it takes one cell to run it. But the beauty about the Streamlight is the fact that it'll take a CR123, a AA, or a AAA. If you've ever been through a natural disaster like a hurricane, tornado season, uh, extreme winters, you know, snowfall, batteries run out of stores. And if you're not prepared, you could be without flashlights for quite a while. The greatest thing about the Streamlight is the fact that, like I said, it takes a CR123, a AA, or a AAA, which really increases the likelihood that you're gonna be able to find a battery to keep your light going. And if we were talking about a long-term grid down situation, you're gonna to wanna to be able to have a flashlight that can run on multiple sources of power. Now, yes, there are rechargeables and stuff, but being able to just go out and get batteries that work in a flashlight is a huge advantage. That's why I always make sure I keep a couple of the Streamlight ProTac 1L 1AA's on hand as my favorite survival flashlight. Now let's take a look at some of the features that the Streamlight ProTac has and kind of how it works with the different batteries. Let's talk about the construction of the Streamlight ProTac 1L 1AA. Starting at the front has a really nice glass lens on it, which is, is good to find in a nice quality flashlight like this for a very reasonable price. Has a little bit of a crenulated bezel uh, if you were to need to use it as a strike bezel, but not much of one that's gonna rip holes in your pockets or anything. Um, moving on back of the aluminum ana uh, black anodized body, you'll see the two-way pocket clip here, which is removable if you're just one of those guys that doesn't like running a pocket clip. Uh, the two-way pocket clip allows you to clip this in your pocket pretty deep, bezel down, uh, or clip it to your, the bill of your hat if you wanted to use it as a headlamp. So being able to have multi-function like that really adds to the value of this flashlight. Moving to the back, you have a really nice rubber uh, tail switch in the back that has a momentary option, or you can click it all the way down for constant on, which I really like because it gives you the best of both worlds there. And it has a little bit of a raised platform form around the button so you can't have any accidental discharges with the light as well or turn it on if it was in your pocket or something like that. So overall the construction is very simple but very robust and like every stream light uh, you know it's just built like a tank and inside also in the front you'll see it's a very smooth reflector so you get a nice little distance beam on it as well. Now let's talk about what I think is the main feature of this Streamlight flashlight, and that's the fact that it can interchange between a CR123, a AA, and a AAA. And if you ever took any time to really notice, those three batteries are nothing similar at all. There are different heights, they're different widths. Um, so you might be asking yourself, how exactly does it work in this flashlight? It's very simple, just unto uh, the back tail cap, and this has a regular spring like you would see in, in most lights, and that's how the switch works. Um, but inside is kind of where the magic happens. Right now I have a CR123 in here, but if you look down in here, there's actually a plastic and uh, uh, a plastic plunger um, that has the male receiving end on it as well. And what that does is it moves up and down to accommodate the taller a double-A battery and triple-A battery. So when you put a different battery in, like you put a double-A in here and you're like, that looks weird. It doesn't look like it fits at all. It sticks out of the top of the of the flashlight and it just makes, it looks like it wasn't made to at all. But as soon as you push the rear tail cap down, that plunger goes down, thread on the tail cap, and you're right back in business with a double-A battery. And then you can simply untwist that. It pops back up out of the top. You can grab a triple-A, which then kind of fits in there kind of weird once again. and rattles all around so you'd think that doesn't work either but then you just simply twist the tail cap down and you got a working flashlight again. So the versatility of the ProTac 1L 1AA, I think it's just amazing um, because you know no matter what, I'm pretty much gonna be able to find one of these cells in a store if I ever needed uh, more batteries to run a flashlight on. Moving on from being able to use different cells in this battery is also the modes that Streamlight works into all of their ProTac flashlights. And they use what they call their 10 tap programmability. And all you gotta do is just simply tap the back end nine times repeatedly and then hold it down. 
the light will turn off and then you can switch through the modes. And there's three different modes. You got high only, you got low and high, which is my favorite, and then you got low, high, and strobe. If there's one of those, you know, you're one of those people that want to have strobe in a flashlight for a self-defense scenario or something like that, you have those three modes that you can toggle through. So it's a very versatile light, and you know, for the price, it's very hard to find a light that's actually programmable like the ProTech. Today, you can pick up the Streamlight ProTac 1L 1AA from the Survival Dispatch Store for $39.95. So guys, with the ability to run three different cell batteries in this thing and the functionality of it, for that price, it's an amazing survival flashlight that I think you should have in your preps. To face it, guys, when it comes down to helping people, loved ones, family members, it's a guarantee that they're probably gonna have one of these batteries just laying around or rolling around in a kitchen drawer. So you could hand them this flashlight and know that they have what it takes to keep this flashlight going during a natural disaster. If you're interested in picking up this flashlight, be sure to click the link and it'll take you right to our Survival Dispatch store.